Well, hey, friends, this is Jennifer, and this is The Jennifer Allwood Show, the podcast for women who want to find freedom in both their life and in their business. I own a multi seven figure a year coaching business. I'm also a certified life coach. So I have the honor of helping thousands of women every single month make money in the online space and help them to get unstuck from whatever is holding them back, all without sacrificing their faith or their family. In this show, you're going to get the very best life and business advice, always with a healthy dose of Jesus. So buckle in, my friend. I'm so excited that you are here. Well, hey, friends, welcome back to the podcast. I am excited to chat with you today. I'm going to be talking to you about our home in Arizona, but I'm but I'm not actually talking to you <laughs> about our home in Arizona, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to give you just a few details about it, but I what I really want to do is use this as an opportunity to just teach just a tiny bit some takeaways that you can take um, into your life, into your business in particular, that have to do with uh, the home that Jason and I um, bought in Arizona. So does that work okay? Is it okay if I do that today? Um, so let me just start by saying this. Um, if you have not listened to the podcast where I did an update on my husband's healing, um, our other son who is relocating to Arizona, go listen to that. I think it will encourage your hearts today, especially for those of you who may be feeling like, gosh, um, you know, things are, are hard. Um, Lord, have you forgotten me? Um, is, is this situation ever going to change, et cetera? Go listen to that podcast that I just did last week. I do think that it will encourage your heart. Um, but here's what I want you to know. Um, I'm going to talk to you about a couple of things that have to do with Bougie in the Desert, which was a place that we never thought that we would buy. Certainly did not think that we would buy it this quickly after having just bought our home in Florida also. And so I want you to know that God is no respecter of persons, first of all. And this was not in my notes. So this is for someone who is listening today. God is no respecter of persons is what the Bible says, which means that what God can do for one person, he can certainly do for another. So as I am talking about this house today and some things I want you to take away from it, here's what I want you to know. If God can provide and um, and put together situations that allow my husband and I to have several rental properties right now, if he can give me the wisdom on how to run an effective Airbnb or VRBO, if he can heal my husband supernaturally through the hands of a 30-minute um, <laughs> massage by a pool, go listen to the last podcast episode, then he can certainly do that for you too. Okay. God is no respecter of person. So that's, that's one of the biggest takeaways I want you to have from this episode today. But here's some things that I want to chat with you about. Number one. So our home in Arizona that we purchased in October, we purchased it, um, uh, the week of our 25th wedding anniversary, fun times, right? Um, it is finally done. You can go find it on Instagram. Jason had given me, we bought it October, the week of October the 18th. He gave me, he's like, can you have it done by Thanksgiving? I'm like, sure. turns out I can't, but I had it mostly done by Christmas and, um, and had it up on Airbnb and VRBO before January 1st. So there's that. We are going to be there. Actually, I'm flying down tonight. Jason's already there. We're finishing up just a couple of things, like putting some more sofas around the fire pit outside, that sort of thing. But for the most part, it is like at 98% done, according to our cleaning team. <laughs> they rate it every week, like, how how far is it ready for new guests? It's 98% done. So um, so you can go to Bougie in the Desert um, on Instagram, and there's a link there where you're able to go see it on Airbnb and VRBO. Okay, so takeaway. Number one. If you are somebody who has rental property, you need a social media for it, okay? I was in a group the other day for like VRBO owners or something like that. And somebody said, hey, is it okay if I have um, a house that is our Airbnb or VRBO listed on, like as on its own account on Instagram? And I was like, um, hello, uh, social media coach over here. <laughs> like, why wouldn't that be okay? She's like, well, I don't know. Are there rules against that? I'm like, okay, you own the home. No, there's no rules against that. And I told her, you need to be having social media for your house. I mean, when you think about like, what is the differentiating factor between your rental property and somebody else's? It could be the pictures that they see on social media, could be the reels that you make, could be, um, you know, anything else like the content you're putting on your social media. I know the other day on Bougie in the Desert, I did a reel of like the wild Mustang horses that are always within a mile of our house in Arizona. And so it could be just something like that, that is the differentiating factor between somebody renting your property and somebody else's. So 
the house is done and it is on social media. So I just wanted to tell you that we already have, I think, seven reservations for this year already. Um, it has not been reserved yet for the Super Bowl. And in the event you don't know, uh, the Super Bowl is being held this year in 2023 in um, the Phoenix area. So we are 45 minutes away from the Super Bowl stadium at our home in Fountain Hills. If you can't find the link on social media, just send me a DM and I will give it to you. Otherwise, go to Bougie in the Desert um, on Instagram and you can find it there. Okay, so that's one thing. All right. Number two, people ask me quite frequently, where did you get that green velvet bed that you have in bedroom number five? If we have our bedrooms numbered, it's weird. Um, where did you get that... Um, uh, what else have they asked about in particular? Oh, that wallpaper that, um, you have in your master bathroom. Where did you get that, you know, um, fur rug or what have you? And so, um, one of the things that I want you guys to know is if you are not currently utilizing affiliate links and you are in business and people ask you, where did you get that shirt? Where did you get that curling iron? Where did you get that rug? Where did you get that sofa? You are missing out on the opportunity to make money. Okay. We have an entire list of things that I purchased off of Amazon in my Amazon store just for the Arizona house. So if you Google and, and people will be like, what's your Amazon store link? (laughs) Truth. I don't know. I don't know, friends. I have to Google myself. Jennifer Allwood Amazon store. It comes right up. When you go to the Jennifer Allwood Amazon store, there's many different lists. So like one of them is a list of, um, business and podcasting equipment. I had somebody in a group today. I I actually coached in two different groups today. It was so fun. Um, Special shout out to Sarah Robbins. Thank you for inviting me into your group. And to Nika Maples. Thank you for inviting me into your group. One is teaching network marketers. The other is teaching people how to get a book out into the real world. And they both had me come in and talk about um, email lists and opt-ins, which was a lot of fun. And why did I even bring that up? (laughs) <laughs> oh, I know because um, somebody in one of the groups said, where did you get that really cute sparkly podcast mic cover? And I said, it's just, um, it's like a, uh, what do they call it? Not a skirt. Hang on. Um, a skin, a skin. <laughs> Words are hard. I've talked a lot today. It's a skin for my podcast mic and it is in the Jennifer Allwood Amazon store under the list, either entitled business or podcasting. So there's lots of lists in there. There's one for our home in Florida, which is called Bougie in the Beach bougie on the beach. Um, And then there's one for our home in Arizona. So if you are somebody that people is asking you, people's is asking you, I'm telling you words are hard. People are asking you, where are you getting things? I hope you have affiliate links that you could give people. Here's what that means. If you're like, I don't even know what you mean, Jen. Well, that basically means every time you guys go into the Jennifer Allwood Amazon store and buy something, I get a kickback from Amazon. You're not paying any more, but Amazon is basically saying, Jennifer, thank you, because somebody probably wouldn't have bought that four poster gold bed, like what's in your, you know, master bedroom in Arizona, had it not been for you giving them the link. Thank you. We're going to give you a commission. Now, with that being said, Amazon's commissions are horrible. I said what I said, what I said, they're horrible. I don't care what anybody says they're horrible. And so if you can work with other companies that pay more, I always suggest that. Always, always, always. But that is affiliate income. So you can go find that Amazon store. Um, the things that we have purchased for the Arizona house are in there. There's also, like I said, a list for Bougie on the Beach, which is our home in Florida. Okay, so I wanted to tell you that. Um, wanted to tell you also that um, I know I did a four-part series on how to start your first Airbnb and VRBO. If you did not get that yet, I forgot to look up the link. So I'm looking for it right now. Give me just one second. Give me just one second. You can go to jenniferallwood.com slash short-term rental. Okay, jenniferallwood.com slash short-term rental. It is a private podcast series that's four parts long about um, how to start your first Airbnb, VRBO, et cetera. One of the things that I did not mention there, but I'm going to mention to you right now, is that if you have somebody book directly through your management company and not through the Airbnb or VRBO link, you can definitely save a lot of money on fees. Okay. So if you go to Bougie in the Desert on Instagram right now and you go to my link in the bio, it is evolve.com slash, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, Evolve is the management company that is taking care of um, our home in Arizona for us. Like they manage 
you know, the, um, the VRBO listing, the Airbnb listing, they manage all the things, but when people book directly through you or directly through your management company, then you bypass those Airbnb and those VRBO charges. So with that being said, if you're someone who listened to my podcast series on Airbnbs or VRBOs, I left that piece out. Um, so make sure, I want to make sure just that you understand that. But two, if you're going to rent um, Bougie in the Desert, make sure you do it through that Evolve link that's in my bio on Instagram. And because it'll cut out a lot of fees for you. Okay. All right. Last thing I want you to notice. If you're at my bougie in the desert Instagram account right now, I want you to notice two things. Okay. The last two posts, um, as of Monday, uh, I think this is January the 23rd when I am recording this. The last two posts are one, I did a reel with a bunch of wild horses. Let me play the music for you. Ready? Okay. So it's got that song. All right cute song, right? And it's, and it's a whole reel on like, every time we're there, we're within a mile of wild Mustangs. And so we see wild cows and wild Mustangs just roaming around in the streets every single time that we are at our house. I think every time, but one, we have seen them. And I think I've probably been there 10 times now to our house in Arizona in the last three months. So, um, I did a reel out of that. The next, um, post that I have on that account is, um, is a picture of Patrick Mahomes, who is the Kansas City Chiefs quarterback. By the way, I don't even like football, but it's, um, and it says AFC championship bound. Okay. Here's what I want you to know. Both of those social media posts I wrote with chat GPT. Okay. If you have not heard of chat GPT, now that I have spoke the words out loud to you, you are certain to hear about it. All right. Because the thing is, you've probably heard about it in the last couple of weeks. You just haven't understood what you're hearing about. So chat GPT is essentially um, a software that is able to write about anything for you. It is able to write blog posts, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, notes for um, a talk that you're giving. It's able to write chapters of a book. It's able to write rap songs. It's able to write entire books. It's a little bit scary, the capabilities, you guys. And there's a lot of conversations that I am in with different people who are in like my mastermind, for instance. I know my friend Adrian Richardson and I, we've been talking a ton about um, chat and GPT. It, it is not brand spanking new. I can't remember. So I don't even want to get quoted. I think it, I think it maybe started last year, but it is just now gaining a lot of momentum and it's going to be a game changer for people. All right. You can go to the website openai.com because it is artificial intelligence to learn more about it. Here's what I wanted to tell you. Those last two posts that I did on Instagram, I did by saying something to chat B- G- uh, blah, 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 chat GPT. All right. Let me see if I can pull up on my phone because I took a screenshot of one of them. But basically I said something along the lines of, I went into chat GPT and I wrote something like, hang on here. I really want to just, um, I really just want to read this to you. And I should have had it up before I started the podcast, but I said something like, um, write an Instagram post, um, about renting our home for the Super Bowl. And it completely wrote the post for me. And I was like, oh my gosh. Okay. Here, yep. I found it. Here's my, here's my screenshot. Get people to book my Airbnb for the Super Bowl. I wrote that in the chat GTP software and instantly it comes up with calling all Super Bowl fans. Don't miss out on the ultimate game day experience by staying in my luxurious Airbnb with plenty of space for all your friends. Da, da, da. Like it goes on and on and on. You guys, it is a game changer. It is a game changer because it saves so much time. I'm just, I, I'm mind blown by it. I'm also a little bit terrified of where it could take us, um, you know, in terms of business, because the truth is people will be able to write an ebook in a matter of minutes versus, you know, hours, days, weeks. Um, so I am going to be talking more about chat GPT and about AI on my social success coaching week. This is um, January 31st through February 2nd. It's totally free. If you would love to join me, it's at socialsuccesscoachingweek.com. Again, that's socialsuccesscoachingweek.com. No www in the front, just socialsuccesscoachingweek.com. Or you can go to, um, let me double check here. I believe it is Jennifer Allwood, uh, dot com slash social success. I had to double check. Jenniferallwood.com slash social success. 
chat GPT is going to be a game changer. I'm telling you guys. And um, if you are trying to be a leader in your industry, if you are a coach, I really encourage you to try to learn more about it so that you can use it for something as easy as what I just did. I mean, it just wrote two of the posts on my Instagram for me in literally 10 seconds a piece that I was able to use. And and see, the, the truth is we all only have so much time in a day, right? And if you are trying to build and grow a business right now, there's some things that you have time for and other things you just don't. And anytime I can cut out you know, chunks of time so that I can focus on other things. I'm going to call that a win. So if you'd like to join me next week, we are at um, the social success uh, coaching week. Dot com. I would love to have you there. And if you have any desire to stay in our home for the Super Bowl or know somebody that would, you can send them to Bougie in the Desert. And that's spelled B-O-U-J-E-E in the desert. Um, and we spelled it that way because of Jennifer and Jason. There's a lot of different ways to spell bougie, by the way. So it's bougie on the beach, bougie in the desert. Um, and, um, and I can connect with you there. So, all right, friends, this was a fun podcast episode. It was just basically like, um, a word dump of all the things going through my head, uh, that have to do with our house in Arizona. The fact that we've got it done, that we've got like this Amazon list for you and that you can rent it. If you want, you can tell your friends to rent if you want. Oh, and by the way, can I just say one other thing? Okay. Hang on real quick. Um, if you're like, who is the house perfect for in Arizona? First of all, it sleeps 11. There are seven beds. So like I just took my team of seven down there and we stayed and did um, two full days of like vision casting for 2023, team building, et cetera. Um, but so if, if you have 11 people, just know that there's only seven beds. <laughs> so, unless you want to be sleeping with somebody on your team. Uh, but it is a perfect place for team building, is a perfect place for families. It is a perfect place for a girls weekend, et cetera. So I know uh, my friend Lisa Bevere is going to be speaking um, in the Phoenix area in March. So I'm going to try to uh, be down there with a bunch of my girlfriends during that same time. So great getaway for you and your girlfriends. There's great food and shopping in Scottsdale, which is 10 minutes away. Um, we literally back up to the desert. And so you can do tons of hiking in our backyard and we would love to have you. So, all right, friends, I hope that this podcast was fun. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye. Friend, thank you so much for listening to the podcast again this week. I'm so honored that you come back for every episode and that you share the Jennifer Allwood show with your friends and family. Every time I see you guys post about it on Instagram or Facebook or something, it just makes me do a little happy. So thank you. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast if you never want to miss an episode. So you can go to Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or Spotify or any of the other podcasting places and subscribe each week so that every week you get the new episode when it releases. So just know that I love bringing you relevant content. I love bringing you great guests. And one of the ways you can help us here at Team Allwood is by leaving the podcast a review. So if you have just a second to do that, would you go over and leave a review for the Jennifer Allwood Show? Thank you again. You're amazing. I'm honored to be here. Until next week. Bye-bye.